that came from Frank, not the one that came from Damon. There's two different links, one from Frank, and one from Damien. Because I guess we got a different section right now. Okay. I know. I know. Lisa's on now. Yes. Hello, are you hearing? Yeah. Yes. Hello. And Jim Moore's is having trouble. Yeah, he's having trouble. Frank, can can you resend him that email? Can you resend? Him? Yep, I'll send it right now. Just maybe someone tell him that to look at the email he gets now is the one he should click. Uh -huh. I had to shut my computer off and restart it. <clears throat> I'm going to send you a new email. Click on, okay? Hello, Jim? I'm going to send you a new email. Just click on that. Okay? Uh, why don't you go to your email and click on the thing that they send you and then we'll try getting on that one. You should be getting the email shortly. Yeah. Jim's just muted now. We have everybody on now? Yes. Well, yeah. Okay, I'm going to start. Good evening and welcome to the Pagoda Board of Education regular virtual meeting, June 16, 2020 at 7 p.m. 
Can you please stand for the pledge, salute? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. The open public meeting announcements. The New Jersey open public meeting law was enacted for the right of the public to have an answer up and to attend the meeting. Public bodies at which any business would mute, then we wouldn't have the feedback. The time. In accordance with the provisions of this act, the Bogota Board of Education has caused notice of this meeting to be published by having the date, time, and place. There are posted in the Bogota Borough Hall, communicated by the letter to the record, filed with the clerk of the Borough of Bogota, and posted on the Bogota Board of Education website. Irfan, can you call the roll, please? Mrs. Alvarez? Present. Mrs. Kearns? Mrs. Lewis? Here. Mr. McHale? Here. Mrs. Miller? Here. Mr. Moore? Mr. Moore? Okay, I can see you. He's here. Mrs. Van Buren? Present. Ms. Montgomery? Here. Mrs. Coles? Here. You have the call. Thank you. Also present is Mr. Kennedy, our superintendent, Ms. Sanya Simon, our board attorney, Mr. Eftel, our board administrator, and Elizabeth Marie, our board secretary. Okay, at this time, can I have a motion to open up public comments to agenda items only? So Amanda. Moved, Kathy. Kathy, Kathy. Kathy. Who seconded? Kathy. Kathy. Okay. Amanda. Amanda, second. Okay, Mr. Kennedy, if you could see if anybody would like to come forward on agenda items only. Okay, I see nobody coming forward. Can I have a motion to close public comments? Amanda. Sabrina. Motion, second. Amanda. Amanda, all in favor? Aye. Uh, okay. Do we have a superintendent's report, please? Damien, you're on mute. The addendum 61620-141, which is the MOA between the BEA and the Board of Education. Uh, congratulations to all our uh, administrators. We, have, we did four ceremonies. Uh, three of them went off without a hitch. The high school had a little delay last night, but after that got up and running, it was very well done. A lot of positive feedback for that situation. We are still planning some type of outdoor graduation for that first week in July depending on what we can and cannot do. Right now, the magic number is 50, but we still can't share uh, microphones. We still can't hand out diplomas. I'm hoping that changes and whatever it is, we're gonna figure it out and do something for them, uh, for our seniors. Um, email and text messages went out today. Uh, principals are contacting their parents. Classrooms and lockers are being cleaned out and students and parents are picking up their belongings. We're collecting textbooks and everything like that. Uh, we're allowing the students to hold on to the Chromebooks over the summer. We're going to be pushing on websites that they can get on. Uh, our hope is that they, they follow and do some work over the summer so that we don't lose another two more months. Um, we're posting on the website. We also will be emailing that information. Also, I recently sent home surveys to the parents on virtual instruction, trying to get some feedback. Uh, it's, it's early in the process. I've only gotten about 160 responses, but right now, 58% uh, of our parents would not feel comfortable sending their kids back in September right now. 
with without a cure or without a vaccine. Uh, a lot of concerns about having to wear a mask um, and a lot of different things. So we put together as many questions that we can to help us improve virtual learning if we have to continue. And I, as of right now, as of September, it is an unknown. Um, it changes daily. The governor says something on Friday. We find out it Friday as soon as he says it. So um, they're trying to work on that to get better communication. So at least we have some more information moving forward. But a lot of different unanswered questions. We're looking at a lot of different scenarios pending on guidance from the DOE. So uh, to the parents out there, uh, we will keep you in the loop over the summer. Uh, my advice is to have your kids unplug for two weeks. And then when you get into July, we start reading and start doing some online assignments to, to get back into it, but at least unplug for a week or two and just step away from the computer. That's all I got. Okay. We're going to move on to the approval of minutes for May 19th, 2020 regular meeting. And I have a motion. So moved, Kathy. Kathy, can I have a second? Sabrina. Sabrina? Do we have any discussion? No discussion? Irvin, can you call the roll, please? Mrs. Alvarez? Yes. Mrs. Kearns? Yes. Mrs. Lewis? Yes. Mr. McHale? Yes. Mrs. Miller? Sorry, I couldn't hear you. Mrs. Miller? Mm, we lost her. I think every, I just got a message. Everyone's frozen. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm fine. I see everybody. I'm all right. I see everybody. I see everybody. Everyone everyone would mute, mute. It would help because when you have this many, um, it, it, it freezes people. So if you mute, mute, maybe it'll help. And I may go out of camera to help also. Uh, Mrs. Miller? I think we lost her. She's not here. Her too. She's gone completely now. Before I saw the screen with her name was out. Here, she's coming back. You got to unmute, Mo. Mo. Got it. Okay, we're waiting for your vote now. Uh, I don't even know. I couldn't hear anything. <laughs> we're voting on policy. No, it's the minutes. No. no. Oh, the minutes. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Oh, minutes? Yes. Yes. Mr. Moore? Yes. Mrs. Van Buren? Yes. Ms. Montgomery? Yes. Mrs. Coles? Yes. Motion carried. Thank you. Okay, we'll move on to policy. 616-2001 to 616-2009. And we're adding to policy the first reading of 616-2010 to 616-2035. Can I have a motion? So moved. Second, Kathy. Second, Kathy? Yes. Do we have any discussion? No discussion? Griffin, can you call the roll, please? Mrs. Alvarez? Yes. Mrs. Kearns? Yes. Mrs. Lewis? Yes. Mr. McHale? Yes. Mrs. Miller? Yes. Mr. Moore? Yes. Mrs. Van Buren? Yes. Ms. Montgomery? Yes. Mrs. Coles? Yes. Motion carried. Thank you. Move on to education, 616-2036 to 616-2071. Can I have a motion? Motion, Amanda. Amanda. Sabrina. Sabrina, second. Any discussion? Yes, right. please. Kathy? Yes. Uh, number 68. Uh, the, the resolution, I know what the answer is, but the resolution doesn't say the fact that that's at no cost to the district. Yes, it's, it's, it's fundraised through them. All right. Should it say that in the resolution? You can add it. So, so you're adding it? Yep. 
Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I have a question, Amanda. Okay, Amanda. Um, so I am really impressed by how many grants that I see that we've received this year. Um, I think that's fantastic. Uh, do we have a total mm -hmm. amount of how much we've got, how we've received in grants for the 2019-2020 school year? No, but I get that for you because we're waiting on the big one from uh, the security grant. If we get that, then that number is a lot bigger. Okay. Do we, do we know when we might hear from them? That might be like September. Okay. All right. We'll check back in. But I can, but, get, yeah. you, I can get you what we got this year so far. Okay. That would be great. Yeah. No, I, I you guys have been doing a, f a fantastic job doing that, getting the extra money. And I saw the one for the um, musical instruments. I, that's awesome. Um, okay. That's all I, that's all I needed. Anybody else? No? Okay. We'll move on to personnel. Uh, roll call. Yeah, um, Mrs. Um, Alvarez? Mrs. Alvarez? Yes. Mrs. Kearns? Yes. Mrs. Lewis? Yes. Mr. McHale? Yes. Mrs. Miller? Yes. Mr. Moore? Yes. Mrs. Van Buren? Yes. Ms. Montgomery? Yes. Mrs. Qualls? Yes. Motion carried. Thank you. Move on to personnel. 616 2072 to 616 and we will add 616 2089 and 90. Can I have a motion? So motion moved. Ama second, Amanda. Jim, first, second, Amanda. Any discussion? No discussion. Irvin, can you pull the roll, please? Mrs. Alvarez? Yes. Mrs. Kearns? Yes. Mrs. Lewis? Yes. Mr. McHale? Yes. Mrs. Miller? Yes. Mr. Moore? Yes. Mrs. Van Buren? Yes. Ms. Montgomery? Yes. Mrs. Coles? Yes. Motion carried. Thank you. We'll move on to finance, 1620-91 to 1620-134. Added to the agenda will be 1620-135 to 1620-140. Can I have a motion? So I'll move. Jim, second. second. Amanda. Amanda, any discussion? Yes. Kathy? Um, one second. On uh, number 119, I will be splitting my vote on that. Can I do so, or do we need to do them individually, the vendors? Yes, um, just, uh, you know, vote yes on the ones you vote yes on them, and then no to the uh, BA, which ones you're voting no on. Okay, thank you. Anybody else? No, Irvin, can you pull the roll, please? Mrs. Alvarez? Yes. Mrs. Kearns? Yes. Mrs. Lewis? Yes. Mr. McHale? Yes, except for no one, 108. Uh, 119, no one's for any of Alva. No one 134 and no one 137. So just to make sure 108, 119, 134, 137. 119 is uh, only no one the one. Which one? Hold on a minute. Okay, no on my appointment. Right. <laughs> Am I frozen again? Yes. Is that so? It was 108 split on 119, 134, and 137, correct, Pat? Right. 
Okay. okay. Uh, Mrs. Miller. Yes. Mr. Moore. Yes. Mrs. Van Buren. Yes on all except for no on 108. No on Screenshot Hollenbeck in 119. Yes on the others in 119. No in 134 and no on 137. Uh, Ms. Montgomery. Um, yes on everything. Okay. Mrs. Coles? Yes. Uh, motion carried. Thank you. I'm in the middle of a board of ed meeting on the line. Could you call okay. me on an hour or so? We will move on to, we're not going to do the addendum. We're going to do that. If we have to go into closed session. We'll do that after closed session. We'll move on to committee reports. Does anybody have any committee reports? Okay, no committee reports. Does anybody have any old business? Does anybody have any new business? Okay, can I have a motion to go into public comments? I'll move. Second, Amanda. Second, Amanda. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, at this time, if anybody would like to come forward, just please state your name and your address. Any hands? Give it a couple minutes. Yeah. Okay. Can I have a motion to close public comments? I'll move. Pat. Pat, can I have a second? Yes. Second, Amanda. Amanda, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, we need to go into closed session. So, the executive session, where I see 231 PL 1975, also known as the Sunshine Law, authorizes the public body to be an executive for private session under certain limited circumstances. And whereas said law requires the board to adopt a resolution at a meeting before it can meet in executive or private session. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Bogota Board of Education that it does hereby determine that it is necessary to meet an executive session on June 16, 2020 at 7.23 p.m. to discuss matters involving negotiations. That the matter discussed will be made public if and when confidentiality is no longer required and action pursuant to said discussion shall take place only at a public meeting. Can I have a motion? No motion. motion. Right. Amanda? Second. Second. Pat, action may or may not be taken upon return from executive session. Okay, we'll be back. Um, we have to click out of this portion of the meeting and there is another email where you have to press and we'll go into the executive session. So whoever is in this meeting right now, we're gonna leave and we will be back as soon as the closed session is over. So you can stay on this um, uh, Zoom session right now. Okay guys, so we'll leave we can no. go into the other one. No, I'm going. Hey, Jim.
Yeah. How do I get into closed session? So, uh, Mr. Kennedy, Mr. Kennedy sent you an email. Uh, go to the link that he sent you. His email is for closed session. Correct. And then. Call All right. All right. Thank you. Is this the right one? No, the wrong one. Public. Uh, join the one that Mr. Kennedy sent you. He should have sent you an email. All right, I did.
<laughs> Good job. Hey, I'm proud of myself here. Leave me alone. Yeah, you are. Good job. I've had to learn more technology in the 12 weeks I've been working remotely than I learned in the 12 years prior. <laughs> <laughs> My ears hurt from these things. Does anybody else get bothered by them so, for having them in so long? I don't know. Uh, gosh, all day they're in. It's like awful. I quit using them. I just kick my kids out. I can't. <laughs> I'm like, you guys can't hear this. <laughs> did someone text Idalia to I get did. her back? Okay. Oh, she said she's trying. Just so the board knows, she is conflicted from the closed session, but she can vote in public. Yeah, you had said that. You had said that. There she is. Hi, everyone. Hey. I didn't hear what to hear. You can vote on this, Adalia. On, on the teacher's and contract? Way, yes. Adalia, you heard the me? teacher's contract? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Okay. And also recuse since so she doesn't isn't privy to any information. The ethics rules say that she can ask questions in public about the contract and the guides. If she has any questions, she can vote. Um, because she's uh, she's a member of the statewide union, but she doesn't get any benefit from this particular contract. Uh, working elsewhere. Is this a three-year contract or is it going to be a, a, I mean, a one-year or a, the regular three-year? The three-year. The resolution's for the three. It's a split vote. Let, let, let's get into the public session first. Yeah, we have Is a anyone move? Oh, Damien's here. Okay. Yeah. Everyone here? Hold on. Hold on. Is Jim on? Yep. Yeah. He's above. Okay. Can I have a motion to open up back open to the Don't meeting? move. Jim, can I have a second? Second, second. Amanda. Amanda at 754, Lizzie. Okay. We're back in. Um, okay. At this time, I need to go into an addendum on personnel. 6 16 20, 141. Can I have a motion? So moved. Jim, can I have a second? Second, Amanda. Amanda, can I have any discussion? Yes. Kathy, go ahead. I would just like to state for the record that I think our teachers are incredible and they're wonderful. But I think in this financial situation that the, the entire world is in, um, with information that I provided in closed session from the data analyst, from labor relations of school boards, from the executive director of school boards, and the president of Bergen County School Boards, everybody's saying be cautious because the health issues could really hit us financially big time. And the impending financial loss in the next year is, is, could be monumental. Uh, we're, we're playing with dynamite here. You're expecting to maintain a budget that you don't know if you can, if the, if the governor cuts us even more aid, we're in a lot of trouble. Mr. Kennedy, may I ask you, if we lose a lot of money, what's the first thing that's going to be cut? Uh, pending on what, what, it all depends what situation are we in. Are we in school or out of school? So depending on that, uh, we would have to look at things like the class three officers, uh, things like the wellness center. Um, those would be the first to go before teaching positions or anything like that. But that would have to be in, in detailed conversation with Irfan before any true decisions were ever made. All right, so so with all that we've tried to do to help get security in our buildings and get mm -hmm. the SLEO officers and get a wellness center, our job as a Board of Education members, I know my job as a Board of Education member is to be an advocate for the children and to give away a three-year contract is irresponsible. I think our union members are logical, respectful, and they'd be more than willing to sit down with us I think if they really knew that we would be laying off teachers, unions are there to protect each other. I think that this is very irresponsible on the part of the board 
for anybody who votes to approve it. I just, I think it's reckless and I think it's financial manipulating to happen. Thank you. I, I would like to say something as well, please. Go ahead, Amanda. Um, so first I would like to, as the, I'm the chairperson of the negotiations committee, and I would like to thank both committees because I think with the pandemic, we had a lot of obstacles that we faced in having to get together and, and meeting with each other and the, and coming to an agreement. And I think we had a fantastic group of individuals that worked on this and we worked on this very hard. And we also... Um, I agree with Kathy 100% that yes, there are, there are some scary things in our future potentially. However, when we approached this negotiation, we did take all of these factors into consideration. And it was, it was a well thought out. We stayed within our budget. Um, the Board of Education, I mean, uh, I apologize, there's a fly. Uh, the Board of Education um obviously there's a little bit of a disagreement but for the most part we all um agree that the teachers deserve what they're what they're getting they were they were thrown some extraordinary circumstances and they came together and they put together and they taught our kids for the last three months from home and i i commend the effort that they put in and all these virtual ceremonies that we did and i and they deserve everything they've gotten and we as a committee stayed we stayed the course we're gonna get some stuff they're gonna get some stuff it's a negotiation and i think we we did a very fair job negotiating and with any contract for three years you really only can budget and know the future for the for the next school year you never know what's going to happen in the next in the following two school years after that so uh, I think we're, I'm confident that our agreement that we reached is going, it's, it's not going to put us in any crazy circumstances. If anything, what was explained to me, we are not going to lose any programs. Like, so let, let me be clear about that. We are not going to lose any programs this year. We all, everything will remain the same. I, I let you speak. We will remain the same and um, in the future, if so, the the thing is, we may not gain any new new programs that we were planning. Um, however, we are going to keep all our, all of our security guards. We're going to keep all of our um, our health and wellness center. So all of that is going to remain. So I don't want everybody to to think that um, you know we're losing those programs next year. Those programs will be with us next year. And again, we would never know. I mean, we could reach a, we could have a, another Hurricane Sandy or some other type of natural disaster that, that we would never be able to plan for in a, in a same, in a contract year where there was no pandemic. So uh, we're, we're dealt the hand we have, and I think we did a great job. And I just want to commend both committees for working well together. And I think it was successful. And I'm confident that we are, um, that our, this contract is, is going to be okay. And we will be okay. Thank you. Thanks, Amanda. I just have a quick question. Will okay. the new contract um, affect um, property taxes? No. No, because oh, we're not we raising the tax. taxes this year. No. Okay. May I make one more brief comment? Go ahead, brief, Pat. I promise brief. Yep. Yeah. Um, back in 1990, there was a contract negotiated based on promised state aid, it's Governor Florio at the time, kind of changed his mind after the contract was struck. And because of that, the district couldn't afford to keep Dewey School open, for those of you who remember Dewey School. Dewey School had to be closed. Tons of teachers had to be let go. Children had to be split up. Administrators were let go. Families, it was a, it was a fiasco. And it was all because of the fact that a contract was negotiated based on a politician's promise. and these politicians are promising us we're not going to get money. They promised us more and we got caught. They're, prom they're telling us we're not going to get more. We're going to get less. And we're, we're jumping into something. We're jumping into a big hole. But Dewey School ended up having to be sold 19 years later. It sat there empty. Because, Kathy, of, that because of that contract. I'm done. Kathy, Kathy, you're giving a story in, in bits and pieces, so I'm not going to go into the whole thing. If you're going to give a story, you have to give the entire story. 
You can't just tell the public what you want them to hear. Okay, there's more to that story than you just. Uh, and I'm not going to get in, I'm not going to get into it because we we everyone said their piece. That so is at this time, would anybody like to say anything else regarding this contract? Anybody else? I'm just on record. I'm voting no. Okay, now I will take the vote, Pat. Anybody else? Okay, at this time, Irfan, can you call the roll, please? Mrs. Olivares? Yes. Mrs. Kearns? Yes. Mrs. Lewis? Yes. Mr. McHale? No. Mrs. Miller? Yes. Mr. Moore? Yes. Mrs. Van Buren? No. Ms. Montgomery? Yes. Mrs. Coles? Yes. Motion carried. Okay, thank you. Okay, and at this time, can I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Jim. Did I get Amanda? Amanda, all in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Have a good weekend. Good night, everyone. Good night. 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 Good